Welcome to the Cinemagic 2021 Young Filmmaker Virtual Award Ceremony. This year we received an outstanding number of entries and the talent was extremely high. We were delighted to see such talent across the UK and Ireland coming from young people and we're really proud of all the entries that have been shortlisted. Over the last couple of weeks we have been enjoying the shortlisted films on the Cinemagic player and the QFT player. A wonderful celebration of young filmmaking talent. A winning young filmmaker will be awarded in eight different genre categories. So without further ado, we present our awards. Hi, my name is Reza Ben Gadra. I'm a visual artist, animator and educator. Firstly, thanks to Cinemagic for inviting me to select the winner and a highly commended film in the Cinemagic Young Filmmaker 2021 Under 18s category. Before I make the announcement, I should say congratulations to everyone involved in all the films on the shortlist. They are all of an exceptionally high standard. There's a good range of styles, approaches and genres, something for everyone. The Cinemagic Under 18 Young Filmmaker 2021 Highly Commended Film is Wendigo by Max Hendrickson. Wendigo is an animated horror based on pagan folklore. As the film starts, we enter an unnerving world of animation which combines flatly drawn characters against realistically rendered backgrounds. Intriguing visuals throughout and great sound design too. This film is a remarkable achievement. As we're reminded at the end, it was made by a 16 year old during lockdown. Fantastic Max, nice one. The Cinemagic Under 18 Young Filmmaker 2021 winner is Horizons by Sean Tracy. It's a beautifully shot film that meditates on relationships, the power of memories and grief. In spite of these emotionally weighted themes, it's remarkably restrained and Tracy's use of symbolism is handled with a lightness of touch. Great central performance, mostly expressed stoically, but occasionally we see the main character breaking into a smile or laughter. Look closer and we begin to notice details which may complete the narrative or which may prompt further questions. We're trying to make sense of it all as much as the young protagonist. In Horizons, film, for both viewer and I suspect maker becomes cathartic. Well done to both winner and highly commended and again congratulations to everyone. Smith from the Girls on Film podcast and I've been pleased to be a jury member for Cinemagic this year and I've been so thrilled to watch all the films in the experimental category this year they've all been tremendous my choice though for highly commended is you are here now I thought it was challenging intriguing and it sort of explored the process of filmmaking as well as notions of time and perception and also mental health so congratulations you are here now I was very impressed with the film The Stop. It had me gripped from start to finish, so I'm delighted to announce it the winner of Experimental 2021. I thought this was a film that just immediately caught the attention. Good performances, one setting, keep it simple, but also a great concept. Lots of things going for it, and it's kind of a thriller, hybrid drama, thought-provoking, and also darkly funny. Congrats. If you don't mind me asking, how exactly did you end up here? I can't remember. It's all a bit of a blur. That's pretty normal. What do you remember? Um...
Once again, the standard of entries for this award was incredibly high, with subjects ranging from transgender rights, sexual harassment, to the recent lockdown. Now, before I announce the winner, I'd like to give a special commendation to Samuel T. McNally for his film, Less Than 1%, which went behind the statistic to show why black lives matter. But the winner drilled deep into a really personal subject and give us an insight into what it's like to live with diabetes. The Cinemagic Young Filmmaker of the Year for Documentary is Adam Salisbury for his film Pricks. They said I'd have to inject four times with insulin to keep me alive. I said a week. The doctor replied, a day. I didn't know how to feel. I have a massive phobia of needles. What was I going to do? From this moment on, my life changed forever. It was a massive shock to the family. We'd all have to adapt. Not just me, but my parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles and friends. Hi Cinemagic Young Filmmakers, my name is Alison Crinian and I am the Communications Director with the Irish Industry Trust for IP Awareness. It is my absolute pleasure to be bringing you the winners from the category Music Video. Because I really believe that music videos are a great way for a young filmmaker to break into the industry. Shorter than a short, they are wonderful ways to engage with audiences. Just look at the work of David Fincher with Madonna's Vogue, or more recently, Richard Ayoade with the Arctic Monkeys, to know what a valuable asset having a beautiful music video in your showreel really is. Everything I saw in this category has a wonderful sweet spot for themselves in a showreel in the future. So well done to everyone. My highly commended goes to Ishtar Gutierrez and Edgar Gisbert. I hope I got those pronunciations correct. Um, for their fantastically and brilliantly bonkers piece of work that I was thoroughly engaged and entertained by. And it absolutely reminded me of the work of Tim Pope um, with The Cure in the 1980s. So check it out if you don't know that reference. My winner goes to Tom Fuller, who I just completely fell in love with this video. Um, it's like he read and understood the brief completely. Uh, from the opening sequence, I got all those wonderful uh, feels of uh, The Big Lebowski, The Dude, uh, all the musical references. I found that the mood, the tone, suited the music exactly. Everything just tied up together so beautifully. And I've thought about this video many times. Uh, since I've seen it for all the right reasons. So Tom, congratulations to you. I cannot wait to see what you do next and to everyone else in this category, well done, superb work. Michael Staley. I'm the programmer of Queen's Film Theatre and I'm delighted to be once again a judge for the Cinemagic Young Filmmaker competition. And this year uh, it was the short shorts category I was judging which as always is extremely difficult but I'll try and keep it short. Goodbye World by Ruby Black uh, which is really charming, uh, beautifully animated in a sort of simple way uh, that addresses the climate crisis and I thought that was very affecting. Uh, so the winner of the short shorts category um, this year is Artificial Nostalgia by Grace Alexander, which I thought was a perfect example of using a short form medium 
in a really clever way. Uh, visually, there was a lot to digest, uh, and it managed to be moving um, and compress a life into a couple of minutes. So, congratulations. Hi, my name is Jeroen Jaspart. I'm an animation director at Magic Light Pictures. I enjoyed visiting Cinemagic earlier this month to screen my films Stickman and The Highway Red. And it was an honor to be asked to judge the animation strand of the Young Filmmaker competition. It was a great selection of shorts. I enjoyed seeing how current global sort of political and environmental themes were being addressed and how they were an inspiration to our young filmmakers. So it was hard to choose my favorite, but um, here we go. Uh, first of all, highly commended is A Snowy Surprise by Hannah Lane. I thought this film was really sweet, really engaging. It had a sort of lovely naivety to it in the style of these sort of classic preschool stop motion shows and it gave me a smile throughout the whole short so it was a very enjoyable um, watch. And the winner is Little Gestures by Richard O'Hanlon and Daniel Brandt Sinvinza if I pronounce it correctly. I thought this was a beautiful integration of live action and animation. It really had a, a professional look to it, a really high standard. Um, I love it when animation gets utilized to tell stories that just couldn't be told with live action. And so the fact that this was a hy hybrid of live action with some animated pieces in it really gave it that sort of special feeling. Um, I enjoyed how there was a lovely relationship between both of the characters um, and that element of kindness really stood out to me. It was caring, it was heartfelt, um, even if there wasn't a single word uttered between the two protagonists. Um, so yeah, that's why I thought this was the winner for me. Highly commended is this beautifully shot short film with the camera placed perfectly time and time again soaking up the atmosphere of what I think must be a working man's club or a social club of some kind. Anyway, the lighting is just so, the dust in the air, the drips from the taps, I just... This really took me back to working in a pub as well as, you know, being bored out of my skull as a lonely kid, not interested in anything the adults were doing who seem to find the most boring stuff interesting. Anyway, I'm waffling. Like beer. As a kid, beer, how boring. Anyway, congratulations to Liam Young for his highly commended pub kit. My winner features some really fun lines. No more ISIS, no more PE, about a not that fun topic, the end of the world. It's a kind of sort of love letter to loneliness, packing that extra pandemic punch as we've all spent a lot of time recently, working out how we feel about ourselves alone in relation to a big bad thing that is happening. Assured, simple, slick, with fantastic music and great animation, I am very impressed with Emmanuel Lee's work here on music for the end of the world. And maybe I'll finally get round to reading Charles Forsman's The End of the... <clears throat> world mini comic which i've been putting off for way too long oh 
and Emmanuel, thank you for the new dance moves. Congratulations again. I wouldn't need to worry about what everybody else thinks of me because there would be no everybody else. Hi, this is Mark Kermode. Um, I'd like to begin by saying congratulations to everybody who sent in their short films. I, I watched all of them and it was a, a really terrific batch of short films. As you can see from the quality of this video that I'm sending in, it's very hard to make anything that looks even half decent. but. I watched all the films, they were all really remarkable. I was asked to choose two, my, my favorite overall and one that was highly commended. So for highly commended, I went for Break In. I really liked this because I thought it was a simple idea done in a very stripped down and unfussy style. It, it's a film which is all about tension and atmosphere. And I think the film manages to create a lot of that with very little resources. It's short and it's succinct and it really captures that that feeling of growing dread and anxiety. And there is a genuine jump scare. And if you've seen as many horror films as I have, you know that those are not easy to pull off. So congratulations to the makers of Break In. My favorite overall, however, was The Phantom Limb. This was a really striking film. I mean, I love the idea. I loved the way it looked. I particularly loved the way the film sounded. I liked how much of the work was done by the soundtrack. It's a story which is told without words. It's very visually arresting. Also what's interesting is the first time you watch it, it, it seems quite shocking. And then you go back and watch it a second time and you realize that a lot of what you thought you saw was through suggestion. You didn't actually see it. It was just the way the film was edited, the way the sound was working, sort of made you think that you'd seen more than you had. I remember feeling the same way about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And incidentally, I mean that as a compliment. Also what I liked about it is that in the end, it's a haunting and mysterious love story. So. My congratulations for Highly Commended to the makers of Break In and for my favourite overall uh, to The Phantom Limb. And again, to everybody who sent in their short films. This was a really, really strong batch of films and thanks very much. I really enjoyed watching them all. Best of luck to all of you. Congratulations to all of the winners, those highly commended, those shortlisted, and everybody who entered the Cinemagic Young Filmmaker competition. Many thanks to everybody who made the competition possible, to everyone who watched the showcase of films, and to your judges, and to those who continue to support Cinemagic and the work of young filmmakers. Look out for details of the next Cinemagic Young Filmmaker competition for 2022 on all the social media channels for Cinemagic. Thank you for watching.